Okay, we got a Wolverine on this team. We might we might get a chance to fight the Wolverine, but Spider-Man is kind of a nuisance, so I don't know how much of a... Uh... Hey, 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 what the heck? I meant to bring out... Oof, I meant to bring out Sentry. Accidentally brought out Adam. Yo, Adam actually, actually a monster. Yo, he hit Spider-Man while Spider-Man was in. Yo, what the heck? Yo, he killed Spider-Man while Spider-Man was in his fourth skill. That's crazy. Yo, hold up. No way he about to kill Wolverine. No way. Yo, what the hell? That was a Wolverine tier 3 with his undead artifact and he still got clapped up. That's a tier 2 out of Warlock. All right, so quick question before we get the video started. Am I the only one who thinks the jawline and the facial structure for Adam Warlock coupled with the hair and the color kind of makes him look like the collector a little bit obviously the outfit makes him look like adam but the haircut and the facial structure just kind of gives me collector vibes i don't know why maybe i'm going crazy maybe i'm delusional in my old age but it just kind of looks like the collector a little bit however that's not the point of the video the point of the video is i've been getting a bunch of comments a bunch of messages a bunch of dms from people asking is adam warlock worth it because this man costs the same amount pretty close to a deluxe package overall cost on the character is about six thousand crystals depending on how much of a discount you get when you pick him up from the shop in case you didn't know adam warlock the way how you get him you actually have to purchase him from the shop right here in the character section if you don't have him he will show up right beside emma frost saber tooth iceman and blue dragon if you don't have Odin and Dormammu, they'll be here as well. But because I already have all those characters, and Mystique, obviously, right? Because I have all these characters already, they don't show up for me. But for you, they will show up. And depending on whether or not Adam Warlock is discounted for 20%, 30%, I believe 40% is the highest discount I've ever seen. It's either 30 or 40. Point is, Adam Warlock is a very, very expensive character. The plus side is, once you get him leveled up, from the achievements, you can actually get some of that crystal back. You can get about, I believe, 1,070 crystals, but it's still very, very expensive. And he's a tier two native, double cost like Thanos and Scarlet Witch. So a lot of people are debating whether or not they want to pick this guy up. Honestly, I will say this. If you are going to buy Adam Warlock, you absolutely need to get his uniform and his uniform will cost 1500 crystals the uniform is absolutely essential his base kit is just so bad even when he came out in 2017 he was just mediocre the only thing he had going for him was time freeze immunity and the fact that he could revive besides that well that's not true adam warlock started the whole cinematic era i will say that the whole camera shift when you're using your skills he's the one that really like propel that to the level that it is today. And his new tier three skill is actually pushing the boundaries once again. In case you don't know what I'm talking about, even if you have the SFX off for this man, by the way, he has some of the most gorgeous skills in the game. Absolutely love them. This fifth skill, really, really dope, okay? I also really love his fourth skill and it's very, very proc friendly because he summons, I guess he's like a needles and the cool thing about this is it's not even that it's delayed and you can line it up with your proc even if adam warlock dies after he fires out these um needles or whatever they'll still keep hitting the enemy and you can get kills off people in pvp even after adam dies so that's really really cool it lingers a very long time that might actually be very very useful for world boss legend against ultron so do keep that in mind he also has a really, really cool third skill that can channel infinitely. The only downside to this is the <laughs> damage accumulation buff will run out and also his invincibility will run out. So even though he has, I, I guess, infinite amounts of damage coming from this skill, he can die before <laughs> he gets it all off. So do keep that in mind. But the coolest thing about Adam Warlock is actually his tier three skill. This is with the cinematic off, by the way, right? It's it's really, really cool. And I'm not actually surprised by the fact that 
Adam is doing something that we've never seen done before where he flies off the screen when the cinematic is off and then he literally like he just grabs a, a freaking moon out of on outer space basically and just smashes it in your face like it's really really cool but that's besides the point we're gonna take a look at how he does at tier two and then we're gonna tier three him in this video and see how much better he becomes because for the longest time i've been using adam warlock in alliance conquest and nothing else so because of that this is the build i had for him sadly the immunity to guard break is now rendered useless because they gave him immunity to guard break on his uniform not going to complain about that because of the fact that that means if I wanted to, I could run him with a CTP of energy, I could run him with a CTP of rage, and I'd still get some PvP utility out of him because whenever you're using a character in PvP, you always want to give them immunity to guard break or guard break immunity so that you don't get guard broken to all hell. Cool thing I'll tell you right now is with the build I have for Adam Warlock at tier 2, he's already strong enough to kill Dr. Dooms and Sentry at tier two however do keep in mind do keep in mind do keep in mind that this is my perspective with these cards and these stats so i'm not telling you that oh if you have trash cards and trash stats you can pick up adam warlock and he's gonna be mowing down characters for you and people no okay this is my perspective with my cards my build for adam with just invincibility on his obelisk basically so let's jump into timeline and let's see who's already played some matches. Let's go up against this guy right here. He's rocking Spider-Man, Doctor Doom, and Emma Frost. I believe this is gonna be a very popular team this week. I wanted to wait until the reset to do a video on Adam Warlock because I wanted Sentry to come back in the fold and Doctor Doom to see how he competes against them because if he can consistently kill off these guys, then he's definitely, I would say, a must buy. Let's go. All right, let's go, Adam. Show me something special. That's a tier 3 Doctor Doom. Dead. To a tier 2 Adam Warlock. Okay. Okay, he got us. That's fine. See what I was talking about? Those needles are still firing even though Adam was dead. And there goes Doctor Doom. Tier 3 Doctor Doom, boys. Down and out. Now, Spider-Man has an advantage because Spider-Man is a speed character. So, obviously, Adam Warlock being a blast character, Spider-Man is his direct counter. So, we expect that to happen. My Colossus was doing nothing and straight up killed Spider-Man. This is perfect. We get to see him against a Sentry first and then possibly a Doctor Doom. Keep in mind, by the way, guys, that Adam Warlock, when he gets his artifact, he can start healing as soon as you hit him and he drops below 99% HP. I hate that they locked it down his artifact, but he does get some healing natively. And you can see, even though he's only at 20% heal, he's bodying people, bro. Like, he's so strong. And last week when Doctor Doom and, uh, <laughs> and Sentry were banned, he was clapping up everybody, bro. But I didn't want to make a video on it because I wanted to see how he does against the people who are truly at the top when the list allows them to participate, right? And you can see tier two Adam Warlock cutting through Sentry and Doctor Doom. All right, one more time, boys. And then after this, we're gonna go find us. Oof, takes a lot of damage when he comes out. Anyways, oof, I yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, let's see if he's able to kill Sentry a second time and then deal with Dr. Doom with only one life. We only got one life to live. Let's go. Hey, you know what? He ain't doing too bad. He's reliable. His HP isn't the highest because of the fact that he's not at tier 3, but he's doing okay. Mm -hmm. Molecule man gone. However, Molecule Man is doing nice chip damage to him, though. Okay. Pop your... Ooh, nice. I was going to say pop your fifth skill. Yo, 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 yo. Oh, Emma Frost dropped the chandelier on him. But, but, ooh, I was going to say, but his fifth skill... Sorry, not his fifth. His fourth skill was still going off. Sending off those electric needles or those energy needles 
and that gave us a little bit of chip damage he came back alive and killed emma frost that's nice okay guys so we got hella versus adam let's see how this plays out she has her artifact too tier 2 adam warlock out here making hella actually work for the w I don't want to hear no talk about how El Hela is not a, a good character. Stop it. I seen some of you guys the other day talking about Hela is only a support. Stop it. Stop it, okay? She actually a demon. Stop it. But yo, Adam Warlock might actually be the best character in the game now. Like, he's working over these characters. Now, here's the thing. If he stays the same at tier 3, that's great. But considering the fact that his stats are going to go up, I'm assuming he's gonna do way more damage and tank better. And he's already making these tier three characters work at tier two. It's been a very long time since we've gotten a tier two character that can work over tier three characters like this. The last time we saw something like this, it was actually, let me show you guys. You guys remember when Jean Grey got this uniform and then at level 60 with this uniform, she was literally like stun locking characters and just killing them off this fifth skill alone. That, that's the kind of vibes I'm getting from Adam Warlock right now. Not as toxic, because he at least lets them attack, but he tanks well, and then he claps back as well. Let me try him out really quickly here in um, World Boss. I want to fight a boss that we don't normally fight. I, I'll go with Super Giant. Okay, so let's see how fast we can actually beat Super Giant. Do keep in mind we don't have a damage proc, and also that this is in effect. And since Adam is a blast character... He's gonna do 50% less damage. Deep down, I wish they had made him uh, a universal. So he had no weaknesses, but it's fine. I like the rock, paper, scissors effect that comes of it. So you can see if um, the enemy moves out of the radius of the third skill, he will stop firing off those infinite energy beams like, like that. So it is what it is. If if he was just standing in place attacking nothing, like a goofy, I would be mad, so let's move out of there because she's silencing me and interrupting my attack. Let's just heal up. Kudos to Netmarble for not being really greedy and not giving Adam a heal and saying, hey, if you want to heal, pay money and get the artifact. Even though the artifact is going to give you a, a more consistent heal. But that's more so for like PV, PvP. When you're on autoplay and you can't really control when your character heals and whatnot. Come to me. Come to daddy. Yeah. Now that you want to sit in place, I'll sit right here and pump you. Won't be full of all this energy. It's really strange to see um, the ice attack from Iceman on this stage because usually I one shot Super Giant. So, a minute 46. Okay, let's see how much faster he gets it done with a tier 3. And then after that, we're going to take him into a <laughs> timeline again and see how much chaos he brings at tier 3 with just a regular obelisk i will say this boys if you're like if you like adam warlock i i'm gonna give you the stamp of approval to uh pick up the uniform because he looks really good okay so what is that Thirty two thousand hp and then not bad Twenty three thousand energy attack that's that's pretty good that's pretty good Oh, wow, this man's like, I got the whole world in my hands. <laughs> oh, what the hell? Did it just replay itself twice? Yo, that's mad trippy, bro. That was mad trippy. All right, boys. Let's see how much faster he gets this thing done. Right, let's go. Hold on. 
Yo, the tier 3 doesn't look like it does that much damage at all, bro. I can barely crack the shield. Well. What the heck? Okay, hold on, hold on. Let's let's get her in like a corner or something. The accumulation of Yeah bro, tier 3 doesn't look like it does that much damage at all, fam. Wow. Well, <laughs> That's a shocker. <laughs> it looks really cool and I thought it would do a bunch of damage, but it's kind of giving me blue marble vibes. Am I crazy to say it's giving me blue marble vibes? Like, the tier 3 doesn't look like it does that much damage. Look. Like, usually you'd want it to take off like a bunch of... Like, what the heck, bro? Like, not even a bar. Maybe, maybe it's just missing, bro. Like, his damage is missing, bro. What the hell is going on? I'm gonna check against another boss. Like the tier 3 just doesn't seem like it hits that hard. Look at this. There's like a, a long pause where like nothing is happening. <laughs> Bro, that was like 15 seconds difference. What the hell? That doesn't make sense. If I knew I was going to be over here testing him against Call Obsidian, I would have just started over here. But I play Call Obsidian every time we get an energy-based character, I wanted to do something different. But let me see what's going on. Yeah, damage looks good against Call, because Call is sitting in it. Okay, let's see the tier 3. Yeah, like, even over here against Call, look at that. Bro, what the heck? What? Yeah, bro, his tier 3 is weak, fam. Like, you do way more damage off just his regular rotation. Like, his 3? Look at how much damage we're doing from the 3, 4, and the 5. Compared to his tier 3? What? Maybe I'm doing something wrong, fam. Maybe, maybe it's me. But, like, look. There's no damage, bro. Whose mans is this? Nah, they messed up. I know you guys will be like, yo, he doesn't have a damage proc and that's why. Trust me, bro. <laughs> this is a, a really weak tier 3. It's a weak tier 3. <laughs> you can see the difference in his regular rotation, how much damage that does, compared to his tier 3. Nah, <laughs> the tier 3 is mad weak. Okay, let's jump into timeline and see. Um, we fought this guy before. All right, let's see what happens now. All right, boys, let's see Adam in action. Let's see what's up. Oh, one taps Dr. Doom. Okay. Five. Oh, the five eats him, but uh, he dies to Dr. Doom's five. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> okay. Can he kill this Spider-Man? Last time Spider-Man, yeah, Spider-Man crushed him. Okay, so the rock, paper, scissors effect is still real. Very, very real. We also fought this guy before. Let's see if we do better. I'm pretty sure we beat him last time, but if we can beat him even more comfortably this time, that would be perfectly fine. Okay, that's enough time. If only Adam had a debuff removal leadership, but what would be the point of Sentry? Yo. He survived. <laughs> Yo, look at the HP remaining. Can he one tap? He survived Sentry's assault. And then he's working his way back up to half HP. Can he can he tap out Doom? Ooh, 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 ooh. He tapped out Dr. Doom, bro. Look at his HP. This is where the fight started for him. The fight's... Bro, he's so good. <laughs> bro, that lack loves the tier 3. Don't even matter, because look at that, bro. He still have his, he has his revive in the bag. You can't even see him, bro. He pulled that John Cena on you guys. You can't see me. My time is now. <laughs> it's the franchise. The okay, let me stop. All right, boys. One more time. One more time, just for good measure. Blonde boy versus blonde boy. L'Oreal model versus L'Oreal model. Let's go. Adam. Adam. I think Adam Warlock is everything that people were hoping Icarus would be. You guys remember when we were super hyped for Icarus? Ooh. Ooh. 
He traded with Dr. Doom. That's not bad either. Keep in mind that this is a Dr. Doom rocking a CTP of authority with steel. And this is just a regular obelisk with invincibility. All right, Molecule, man, you got to go to sleep. He's here. The one. The chosen one. A god among men. Adam. Adam. Breaking Warlock. He just one tap Gilgamesh, bro. This is the same Gilgamesh that, <laughs> that has his artifact and everything, bro. Yo, Adam's AI is actually really good because he uses all of his skill. I even seen him use his third skill. And remember what I said at the start of the video where he uses that needle attack and even when he's dead, it keeps going. That's literally what just killed Emma there. The beautiful thing about that is because he was already dead, Emma couldn't reflect the damage anywhere else. <laughs> Yo, Adam actually goaded, boys. All right, one more, one more, just for good measure. I want to see what was up with that Gilgamesh getting one tapped by the two skill. Yeah, that two skill is disgusting, bro. Is he going to one tap Molecule Man with it? Nope. He's probably saving it for Gilgamesh, right? Yo, I swear to God, bro. That's like a, a pimp slap if I ever seen it, bro. Gilgamesh stepped up and this... Yo, look at it. Look at Emma. Standing still. Oh, uh, she didn't die from it this time, but <laughs> she died now. Yo, Adam is actually insane. I'm going to see if I can find a Silver Surfer and I want to include that in this as well. Long video, but I still want to include it. All right, boys. Show time. One tap straight in the bin. That two skill is too filthy, boys. Too filthy. Bro, I'm wondering how he would be with greed. I think he would just be too broken with it. Yeah, Silver Surfer can't even, bro. As soon as Silver Surfer revives, he's probably gonna clap him with the two. Oh, he reflected some of it back. Yo, he's actually insane. Bro, I can't wait to troll people in Alliance Conquest with Adam Warlock this week. Oh my God. Bro, I'm gonna wrap the video here, man. Thank you guys so much for watching. The only thing that has me kind of like concerned about Adam Warlock is the damage on his tier three skill. Fate's end, it looks like something lacking there, you know? But everything else, his ability to tank, his ability to kill people in PvP, even without his artifact, man, he's tanking like a champ and he's clapping up the best of them the only person that i haven't seen him consistently kill is spider-man occasionally he can kill a spider-man but that's perfectly fine as a blast character he's supposed to struggle against the speed characters it makes it even more satisfying when he wins we need more speed characters in time like that <laughs> i'll catch you guys in the next one peace